Welcome to Spotlight. I'm Christy Van Aragon. And I'm Bruce Gulland. Spotlight uses a special English method of broadcasting. It is easier for people to understand, no matter where in the world they live. What is your house made of? Is it made of wood or stone materials? Or does it have clay bricks, concrete, metal bars, or glass? What about plastic or thick paper cardboard? Buildings are made of many different kinds of things. Some buildings are strong and permanent, but other buildings are made to be temporary. Many people around the world live in temporary shelters. They build their homes with materials that are easy to find, like plastic or cardboard. They reuse old materials to make new homes. Usually, these homes are built to provide shelter for a low cost. They are not strong enough to last for a long time. And they are not usually designed to be beautiful. But now, Building designers are thinking about how to reuse these same simple materials to make stronger and more beautiful buildings. Today's Spotlight is on buildings made from unusual materials. First, we travel to Christchurch, a city in New Zealand. In 2011, a large earthquake shook New Zealand. More than 100 people died in the city of Christchurch. The earthquake caused a lot of damage to property too. It destroyed the city's cathedral. Christians have worshipped in this beautiful old stone building for over 100 years. The cathedral was also a major centre for the city. It was important for many people. Many other earthquakes had damaged the cathedral over the last 100 years. Each time, workers repaired the damage. But after the 2011 earthquake, repairs were not possible. After a long debate, the community decided to build a new cathedral. However, building a new cathedral takes a long time and a lot of money. So, until workers complete the new cathedral, the community will use a temporary cathedral. Church leaders chose Shiguruban to design the temporary cathedral. Ban is an architect from Japan. He has a lot of experience designing temporary structures. Ban uses simple materials to build amazing buildings. One of his particular interests is using cardboard. Cardboard is made of paper pressed together. It is often used to make boxes and other simple containers. Cardboard does not cost very much money. So, Ban decided to design the temporary Christchurch Cathedral from mostly cardboard. 
Bonn's Christ Church Cardboard Cathedral opened in August 2013. It stands 25 meters high. It looks like a large tent with a high, pointed roof. Bonn used huge, round cardboard tubes to create the roof. There are more than 98 tubes, each up to 20 meters long. However, cardboard becomes soft in the rain, so the building includes a large plastic surface which covers the tubes. On one end of the cathedral, there are colored windows, based on the beautiful windows in the old cathedral. The design also includes eight recycled metal shipping containers. The temporary cathedral is large. More than 700 people can sit inside. The building is also beautiful and strong. The temporary Christchurch Cathedral could last up to 50 years. Barn designed it to be safe during future earthquakes. The materials did not cost a lot of money. And when the new permanent cathedral is finished, the cardboard cathedral can be recycled. Next, we travel to Taiwan, to the Eco Arc. This building was built for the 2010 Taipei Flora Exhibition, a large plant show. Arthur Huang led the design of the Eco Arc. The Eco Arc building is large, 24 meters high. It is also strong. It had to resist wind, earthquakes, and fire. But Huang did not use the usual building materials. Instead, he used recycled plastic bottles called polybricks. Huang started the company that makes polybricks. First, they take old plastic bottles. Then, they melt and reform these plastic bottles into a new shape, polybricks. Polybricks look a little like a plastic bottle. Each brick even has a top that people can remove. But the bricks also have grooves cut into the side. These grooves make it possible to fit the bricks together. They do not need glue or anything else to keep them together. The fit is tight and the bricks do not move. To build the Eco Arc, Huang used material from one and a half million old bottles. He built the poly bricks around a steel frame. The clear poly bricks are perfect for plants. They let the sun's light and warmth into the building. Huang also designed the building with open areas to bring in air from outside. The building was strong, beautiful, and comfortable. It cost much less than other buildings in the exhibition. And city officials could take it apart and rebuild it somewhere else after the exhibition. The Eco Arc brought immediate attention to Huang and Polybricks. Now Polybricks are being used in other building projects around the world. Huang hopes 
that the bricks will be a good use for plastic waste. Keeping plastic out of the world's oceans and waste collection areas. Huang wants to make a real difference by making buildings that are better for the environment. Finally, we travel to South Korea. Our final project also uses recycled materials. But it is something less serious. Choi Chung Hua is an artist. He creates art using common objects. These things do not seem to be art materials, but when he puts them together, the result is special. Many of his projects are public art, art in public places for everyone to enjoy. In 2011, Choi created an unusual project on the streets of Seoul. He chose a 10-floor building. It was a normal, simple building. But Choi covered this normal building with bright, colourful doors. Choi needed many doors to cover the walls. One thousand of them. Choi used old doors, but he chose doors that were colourful and interesting. From the street, the building is a colourful surprise. The use of recycled materials to build public buildings is growing. These new designs are perfect for temporary and movable structures. They are also lower cost, beautiful, and good for the environment. For these reasons, more and more designers are thinking of fresh ideas for using recycled building materials. And soon, these unusual materials may appear in your city, too. Have you ever seen a building made from recycled material? Tell us about it. Leave a comment on the script page of this program or email us at radio at english.net. The writer of this program was Michael Coleman. The producer was Luke Haley. The voices you heard were from the United Kingdom and the United States. You can listen to this program again and read it on the internet at www.radioenglish.net. This program is called New Ways to Build. We hope you can join us again for the next Spotlight program. Goodbye. Goodbye.